This is the um, Southwark Road Bridge, built in 1921. Uh, originally built to ease the congestion of the old London Bridge. It doesn't seem to work. The reason for this, the way the architects designed the bridge, the main approach, road, approach roads were a nightmare to find. One-way streets, no entries, back streets. Hardly see anyone up there at all these days. On the right-hand side, we have the anchor at Bankside. One of famous, one of uh, London's most famous taverns. If you look closely, either side of the anchor, it does say built in 1615. Not this one, this was built in 1852. But it does date back to 1615 when Shakespeare, Dr. Samuel Johnson, they all used to frequently use the anchor there at Bankside. The Cannon Street Railway Bridge, if you look on the bridge in the stone pillars, give you a bit of indication of the ebbing tide, how fast it's actually ebbing out to the North Sea. Turn your attention to the left, you have a relaxation spa. Now, the developers thought it would be very cleverly to build it here under the bridge away from prying eyes. What they failed to take into consideration, all the passing boats like this one, passes through this bridge every 10 minutes. Now what they've done cleverly, they've built the under there, but stupidly they've put one-way glass where they can't see out, but we can see in. And I'm sure you appreciate some days are better than others. The Smith Pirate ship Sir Francis Drake. It was the first Englishman with 80 sailors to circumnavigate the globe. He did take him two years. He returned in 1518, invited by Queen Elizabeth. That one's not a museum, that one's been around the world twice. You can take your kids on now. And that's uh, due to sail around the world again at the end of the year. Now this is probably one of the most famous bridges around the world, London Bridge. We've had four bridges. The first dates back to AD 43, built by the Romans. This is the third bridge. This one, the third bridge was actually taken down stone by stone. It was sinking into the test mud. It was uh, sold to an American oil tycoon, Mr. John McCullen, for two million dollars. He shipped it to the Lake Havasu in the Arizona desert. This fourth bridge opened built here in 1973, opened by the Queen. There's the monument on the left, the tall monument designed by Sir Christopher Wren to commemorate, commemorate the Great Fire of London in 1677. That was built 202 feet high. We have the new um, shard of glass there to the right. Uh, it's said to be open in the early year 2013. 310 metres, is said to be the largest around in Europe, once completed. It will consist of 82 floors. Um, the, top, the top 10 floors are said to be apartments, ranging from 10 to 15 million pounds. A massive hotel, restaurants, casinos, conferences. It's all designed by, by an Italian named Renzo Piano. The new shard of glass at London Bridge City there. The building to the left hand side, this building is the fifth on the site, is Custom House. Now anyone that comes through Customs, any excess contraband taken off you, or any illegal drugs, will end up in the basement in that building for one year. And if it's not claimed back, it's said to go by means of incineration, burnt through those six black chimneys. On the right hand side we have this uh, naval warship, I don't know nothing about this ship, it's only, it was built up here two days, two mornings ago. But the one inside I can't tell you about is the HMS Belfast, a very famous vessel. Um, she played an important role in the D-Day landings, evacuating the troops. She has seven decks to explore, open to the public. What happens, cruise ships, naval ships like this one, they come into this port of London. Normally on courtesy visits, they lay alongside the Belfast there. The main features to this ship are the 12 6-inch guns, 6 forward and 6 aft, front and back. One of those guns are capable of firing a 100 weight shell, or a screaming shell, for 14 land miles. The building to the right hand side is uh, our Mayor of London, Mr Boris Johnson, his new headquarters. 
If you look on the second floor, you might see a man with white hair. Scarecrow, he, uh, he's like an albino. He's the man that rides around London on one of those bikes, like a raving lunatic. He's trying to get the sort of thing the same. This is their headquarters. A design, a building designed by Sir Norman Foster. 